Welcome back, camera enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of photography and videography to uncover the absolute best cameras of 2024. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's something for everyone in this year's lineup. Number 5 Fujifilm X-T5 The Fujifilm X-T5 is the ultimate imaging technology in 2024, offering a unique combination of state-of-the-art features and traditional design elements. With the X-T5, Fujifilm, a company well-known for its expertise in the mirrorless camera business, is reportedly able to produce images with remarkable quality thanks to a sophisticated sensor that is probably an upgraded version of its predecessor. With its perfect color reproduction and enhanced low-light performance, it is exceptional at capturing the subtleties of every scene. The sophisticated CPU of the X-T5 provides fluid overall performance, rapid continuous shooting, and lightning-fast autofocus. Photographers may now record important moments with never-before-seen accuracy and speed. Using state-of-the-art technology, the camera's sophisticated and quick focusing system, number 4 Sony A7 IV. The finest camera we tested for photography is the Sony 7 IV. Although it is a well-rounded hybrid model, it is not quite a pro. It is an improvement on the widely used Sony 7 IV with a new 33MP sensor that lets you flexibly crop and edit images while capturing incredibly detailed images. Impressive, too, is Sony's real-time focusing mechanism, which offers incredibly dependable subject identification and tracking to maintain focus on moving targets. Nevertheless, it is by no means a flawless camera. Although we've seen better stabilization implementations, it does include in-body image stabilization, IBS. The camera's highest burst rate drops to 6 frames per second when shooting uncompressed RAW files, which is a bit disappointing for serious wildlife or sports photographers. The comparable Canon EOS R6 Mark Guy beats it in that regard, offering burst shooting at 12 frames per second, or up to 40 frames per second in electronic shutter mode. The wide range of glass available for Sony's E-mount, including numerous third-party lenses at different price points, gives the 7 IV an advantage. It's perfect for taking landscape photos with the Sony 7 IV. Straight out of the camera, the full-frame 33-megapixel sensor captures an amazing amount of detail and creates sharp, eye-catching images. You can also create prints with greater freedom or trim your photos. Because of its very wide dynamic range in RAW format, it can capture more detail in the highlights and shadows of landscape photos that are busier or have higher contrast. Moreover, even if it performs somewhat worse at high ISO noise than some similar cameras, it still performs brilliantly in low-light situations where the ISO needs to be raised. Sadly, it isn't the most portable camera for going on long walks or taking pictures in far-off places. An outstanding sports and wildlife camera is the Sony A7 IV. It features two SD card connections, an inbuilt CFexpress type of slot for backups during longer shoots, and is weatherproof and sturdy. It also has a good 10 frames per second burst rate while shooting JPEG. It is annoying that you can only capture 6 frames per second in uncompressed RAW if you want to take full advantage of the camera's sensor for subjects moving quickly. For studio video work, the Sony 7 IV is a fantastic option. It can internally record 10-bit 4 to 22 video, which allows it to capture more color information and gives you more post-production options than its predecessor. Additionally, it supports a large variety of log profiles, which lets you take full advantage of the dynamic range of the sensor. Numerous inputs and outputs are accessible, such as a full-sized HEMI connector, a microphone input, and a headphone jack. The video quality and focusing performance are superb, and Sony has made significant improvements to the menu's usability over the previous model, making it easier to find and adjust settings quickly. There is no time limit when recording video, and even when shooting at the highest quality settings, the battery does not overheat. Although there is room for improvement in terms of the video battery life, the camera can be used while being charged via USB, which is helpful for extended shooting sessions. The Sony 7 IV is a superb camera for travel. Its high-resolution full-frame sensor captures remarkably clear, high-quality shots even in low light, even though it's not the most portable camera. The camera also has a superb autofocus system that can follow subjects under a range of circumstances. Because of its superb construction and weather sealing, 
In addition to its many tactile controls and customization options, it feels rather comfortable to shoot with. Even though this camera takes excellent photos, it might be too much for people who just need a little camera to carry along. Number 3. Fujifilm X-S10 A mirrorless camera with a crop sensor is the Fujifilm X-S10. It records reasonably crisp, clear video in 4K and FHD resolutions with outstanding image quality. Nevertheless, in low light, noise may be seen throughout the recording process. In both still and motion pictures, its in-body image stabilization feature aids in reducing camera wobble. It has a bright, sharp, fully articulating screen, lots of ports for connecting peripherals. It is easy to use and seems well-made. Although it has outstanding video autofocus capabilities, it has trouble maintaining focus when taking still images. The Fujifilm X-S10 is a superb camera for travel. Even at rather high ISO settings, it generates outstanding image quality right out of the box with minimal noise. Although we haven't tested the camera with these modes enabled yet, the Fujifilm simulation modes can help add flair to your photos. They are limited to JPG files. Its wide shutter speed range enables you to take intricate long exposure photos as well as quick moments. It also seems to be well made and is typically comfortable to use. Unfortunately, its one-charge battery life might not be sufficient for a full day of shooting, depending on your shooting style and settings. The Fujifilm X-S10 is a fantastic option for taking landscape photos. Overall, the image quality is excellent, and it well handles noise even at higher ISO settings, which is helpful if you intend to take pictures in low light. Your photos will also have a unique look thanks to the integrated Fujifilm simulation modes. However, these are limited to JPD files, and we haven't tried the camera in these settings yet. You can shoot from above or below your hip with its fully articulated touchscreen, and it's bright enough to see in the sun. It feels quite well made and isn't too heavy to carry around for extended shooting sessions, even if it's not weather sealed. As of right now, we don't test for this. The Fujifilm X-S10 performs admirably in photos of nature and sports. Its electronic shutter allows it to take up to 20 photos per second without cropping. When combined with the camera's quick maximum shutter speed, this should enable you to capture quality stills of scenes that move quickly, such race cars on a track. Excellent image quality is also maintained even at comparatively high ISO settings. It is reasonably comfortable to use and has a nice feel about it. Regretfully, depending on your usage patterns and settings, the focusing technology may have trouble detecting the movement of some things, and energy economy may be subpar. For vlogging, the Fujifilm X-S10 is a great option. Its lightweight design makes it portable, and its fully articulating touchscreen lets you keep an eye on your video even when the camera is pointed directly at you. Number 2 Sony A6700 The best mid-range camera we've evaluated for photographers is the Sony 6700. With its 26MP crop sensor, this hybrid model generates exceptionally high-quality images. It is also somewhat portable thanks to its excellent battery life, small size, and ease of transportation. In addition, it provides one of the most advanced and reliable autofocus systems available, complete with intelligent subject detection and tracking, in-body image stabilization, and an extensive range of original and third-party lenses. If you would rather not to deal with RAW files as much, Take into consideration the Fujifilm XAS20 substitute. Fujifilm is a great substitute for people who enjoy taking pictures straight out of the camera because of its excellent JPEG color science and film emulation profiles. It also has great ergonomics and IBIS, allowing you to shoot handheld at slower shutter rates. Number 1 Canon EOS R50 The Canon EOS R50 is the best camera for photography if you're on a tight budget. Due to its easy-to-use controls and numerous auto-shooting options that let inexperienced photographers try out different photography styles, it's a great choice for aspiring photographers. It is also quite portable for street or travel photography, and it has an exceptionally simple and accurate autofocus system. The R50 is a good camera to grow with because it uses the same lens mount as full-frame Canons like the Canon EOS R6 Mark U meaning you can use both APS-C and full-frame lenses with it, making it easier to upgrade to a full-frame body later. This is in contrast to the Canon EOS M50 Mark U, which it essentially replaces. 
Another great inexpensive option is the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV, especially if you prefer the more portable Micro Four Thirds setup. Additionally, a reputable lineup of lenses is present. Guys, there concludes our top 5 best cameras of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.